Hi everyone, Chris Tisdell here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my beginner's uh, guide to calculus. And we're going to talk about how we can apply index laws to simplify expressions in mathematics. Now in previous videos, we talked about the following basic index laws. So just to refresh your memory, I'm just going to flash them up there pretty quickly. So there are six here, and this is sort of a basic definition. Uh, we're going to concentrate on how we can apply these ideas to solve the following example. So I'm asked to determine the value of this expression. So let's call this expression i. All right. So 2 to the n plus 3 minus 3 times 2 to the n plus 1, all divided by 2 to the n plus 2. Okay, so how do we solve it? Well, um, I'm going to simplify these expressions here, here, and here using the index laws. There's a few different ways you can solve this problem, but I'm, I'm just going to try to do it in the simplest uh, way possible. Okay, so we can use this expression here with for this one a equals 2 and n plus n equals n plus 3 and unpack that so we can go from here to here all right so let me just write that out it's 2 to the n times 2 to the 3 what i'm trying to do is get a common factor of n in the top okay uh, 2 to the n plus 1 equals 2 to the n times 2 to the 1, which is just 2. And 2 to the n plus 2 is just 2 to the n times 2 squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these three things here. And you can see I've got a common factor of 2 to the n in every expression uh, now. So, so this is by the index laws okay thus i is 2 to the n times 2 to the 3 minus 3 times 2 to the n times 2 because 2 to the 1 is just 2 and then on the bottom we have 2 to the n times 2 squared. Now, you can see, hopefully, that there's a 2 to the n there. In that term, there's a 2 to the n there, and there's, oh, sorry, let me fix that up. That should be 2 to the 2, 2 squared, and 2 to the n there. So I can cancel, 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 and what am I left with? Well, that's going to give me 8, and then I've got minus 3 times 2, so 8 minus 6 all over 4. Okay, so the top gives you 2, 2 divided by 4 equals 1 half. Okay, so our answer, what is this value? It is just 1 half. Okay, so you, that's this is not the only way that you can solve this problem. You could make it so each factor is uh, 2 to the n plus 1. So instead of breaking this down to 2 to the n times 2 to the 3, it could be 2 to the n plus 1 times 2 squared. And all right, so um, that's how you would do a problem like this. Look, try to break it up into bits that will cancel off. Here we chose 2 to the n. Hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Bye.